So we're starting this video at the point where we have this error. Like I told you, the Laravel generator expects something which we kind of forgot to add. So go to your Laravel folders, go to database, and then um, for each of our migrations, we need to add something, which is, uh, for instance, here, we need to make Laravel to add a deleted that um, um, field. So, and then we have to manually come here and add it. So we have to go to users and another base, users, go to structure, and then we're going to say add. Yeah, after updated that, we have to say go and then do delete it. Right. You see, once we do it, it's date time, but this is time taken. This is time taking, so it's better for me since we just have only one user. It might save me more time uh, to just add. Um, let me add this way. It might save me more time to just run uh, migration. You see, I just added another extra field called deleted that. So if we refreshed, the error should be gone. You see, the error is gone. So um, if you were building a, bu a big website and this happened, you might just have to um, add it in your migrations, then run migration again. So first of all, I'll manually add it in my migration, and this is how it's added. You do table soft delete. So in case you're wondering what it is, um, there are two ways to delete items from your database. The first way is to actually delete the data. It's gone. It's gone forever. For instance, if we go to users, we have one record of the user. If I click on this delete, it's wiped out totally from my database. The second way is just to add a column called deleted at. So if that column is marked as true, um, this field will not be displayed on the on the front end of the user, but actually in the database it still exists just like a um, big website like facebook and wikipedia and so on do they don't delete your data if you delete your status from facebook it, it doesn't go anywhere the only thing is that you can display it again you don't have access to it again but on facebook's database it still exists it's just marked there as deleted but it's still there so that's how uh, soft delete works all right so laravel generator follows that pattern by default so we're gonna just copy you see soft delete we'll have to add it in rows table so we'll add it soft delete we'll add it in ref levels table and we we'll add it in ref categories so the reason why we're adding it in all these tables is so that if um make sure you're saving your files i just realized i didn't save some so the reason why we're list adding it in all these tables is that in Laravel, you're not supposed to edit your database directly. You're supposed to modify the migration files, then run migration. I don't want to run migration again. That's why I, I even after adding it in migration, I'm manually editing all these files. So here, I'm just going to do this and um, add one table, call it deleted at, call it deleted at, it's date time, type D, 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 D. That's date time, and then null, and um, click save. Um, I think basically I should copy this and run it as SQL. Run SQL. Click on this. I'm just looking for a faster way to add it. So we're going to add it to ref levels. So I'll just paste this and call the table ref levels. Ref underscore levels. You see, ref levels. Then I'll do the same thing and call the table and call the table on um, ref categories ref categories okay so you have ref categories ref levels so if i click go at the bottom right it will add for the two tables at once so you see it's done um, in the next video, we are going to get back to our, our generator files here and generate for the rest of the tables. Alright, see you in the next video.